All right, guys, today we're going to be wrapping our uh, BMW. We chose uh, the elephant color, right? <laughs> yeah, so pretty much, welcome back to the channel, guys. We're pretty much going to be wrapping the car today. Not entirely, just a few things. We're going to wrap this fender. We're going to wrap the other fender because they're completely different colors. And uh, at least we can put the lights on and do everything. Because we want to get to past headline break, but we're just going to keep only those two wrapped for now. Maybe. We'll see what we're going to wrap exactly. Uh, but yeah, let's just get to work. Let's wash the car first, get it cleaned up, and then go ahead and uh, start wrapping it. I don't know what you're Bob. Change the song? Hey, I'm watching Bob. Put the old intro. Habi, that's Shambhala. Put the old intro, Noor. No, I didn't mean that's FIFA. Ma, I forgot. I oh, forgot. Uh, you're not, you're not smoke weed? Well, what is it? Not real. Smoke weed, smoke weed every day. <laughs> I think that was the intro. It's not even funny. Yeah, that is the, that is <laughs> the intro. That is the intro. Smoke weed, you know. Yeah, smoke weed is the intro. What the chip? Are you serious? Hold well, on, well, smoke. Why, why are you recording, Leah? Because you're wrong. Yeah. I turned that right. shit off right now. Becky, I'm saying you're right. <laughs> be nice to him. Yalla Hadji, you ready? Yay! Happy anniversary! Oh! So anyways guys, um... No, wait, before we start, man, let's act like we haven't seen the rap yet. Oh, okay. Are you ready? Alright, ready? Hold on, they, they, come here, they have to set, they have to set it up then. You guys right, ready? You stand right here? Okay, it's gonna be right here. It's kinda heavy. <gasps> oh, I didn't send it. <laughs> wait, wait, are you doing it as a thumbnail? Like... <laughs> we are. Look at the video. <laughs> well, I can't do this. There's not yeah, how yeah. many people you uh, need to reach. <laughs> Oh my god! That's beautiful. That's beautiful, man! Oh my god! It's beautiful. <laughs> it's actually just okay. <laughs> All right. I don't know if you guys know, but basically what we went ahead with, um, you guys voted. I was either to do purple, blue, or something like that. But I was like, you know what? Oh, actually it looks good in gloss. Okay, there we go. <laughs> now I'm all like zooming. Yeah, I know. So anyways, guys. It's, it's a funny thing. Yeah, I know. So anyways, guys, we went ahead and went with Nardo Gray. It's always been a dream color. <laughs> but it's, Nardo Gray has always been a dream well, color. Well, I feel like he's zooming, bro. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm not zooming on you, just. No, no, just but anyways, continue. yeah. So this is temporary, and I feel like I wanted to always try Nardo Gray. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth. Working hella hard till they put me in the dirt. Gonna go far, man, listen to my words. Gonna be a star, man, life's like a blur. When you're working this hard, yeah, you get the job. Just... No! Cut this. Oh, yeah. No, I'm joking. Yo, it needs to be, it's not called working, get back in the garage. <laughs> Am I a slave, Leo? Hey, chill. I don't, I don't mess around with Arabs like that, alright? Good <laughs> Mickey. Mickey, what up? Next. Next. Don't put that in the video, okay? Yeah. I'm just playing with my ass. Oh, what are you playing with? <laughs> Dude, I'm actually really not. Honestly, Dude. man. I want to get wild. Dude, no water. Shoot a lot. <laughs> Shoot a wild. Shoot a wild. I want to get wild, man. Does that mean shawarma? Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what Arabs think, you know? When, when you want to get wild, that's when you're going to eat shawarma and I, I kebab. And... <laughs> I get wild with my kanafa. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I put drizzle some... Dude, uh... have you ever seen David Dobrik when he records? Yeah, so what are you doing today? Just... Today, I'm uh, going to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Take a huge dump. <laughs> Oh Tell me something pretty about yourself. Yeah, but it's taking forever to stick. <laughs> <laughs> the next day. My lips are red. 
What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today guys, we're gonna be trying to wrap the M3. So, we're gonna be wrapping a few things and we're gonna actually have to do some more body work. The hood, I looked at it, I was like, that hood is pretty messed up. That was probably, oh my, why am I so dark? Actually, let's focus in on the car real quick. Cause I guess that's, that's the topic. So if we go outside right now, the hood, there's just too many bumps, too many scratches. I just want to sand the whole hood. I found the side skirt has a little bit of scratches. I want to fix that as well because I want to make this thing look really good. Um, everything will show through the wrap if I don't fix it. And the rear bumper needs a little bit more work itself. But all that stuff can stay on the car while I do it. It's not a big deal. Unlike the bumper, the bumper was a disaster. Um, but yeah, we want to go ahead and wrap some things. We're going to go ahead and fix some things. And hopefully, we'll get a pretty good looking car at the end of the day. All right, guys. So at this point, my boy... The uh, is here. He's not working. He just got back from work, right? Back from work. I'm all done. He's all done. So, yeah, so that means you're going to be working on the M3. So, today I just want to go ahead and just work on the bumper. I want to just go ahead. We, we, we perfected it. We want to just go ahead and wrap it and then throw it on the car and throw on everything that associates with the, to the bumper on the car. Because then that'll make the car complete. That'll make the car legally, you know. I mean, I appreciate you can drive it without a bumper, but I want to make it all, you know together. So let's just go ahead and uh, work on this bumper. It's going to be a lot of work. It'll be worth it by the end of the day when we actually see it on the car. But this is how she sits right now. Oh boy. Just about to see it after in a few, uh, in a few days or hours. <laughs> Alright guys, so we just went ahead, I mean we pretty much finished everything besides a few little small pieces, uh, but we're going to go ahead and just do all the small pieces when it's on the car. I just want to go ahead and throw this on and see how it looks, I'm pretty excited about it. Alright guys, I just did a small test fit, oh my god boys. Oh my lord, I'm about to flip out. This looks insane. So, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and start bolting this thing on. Like, just look at that angle. God damn! Alright guys, so the bumper is now clipped on. So it's clipped on there. And it's officially clipped on there. It's looking actually really, really, really good. The only problem is, I'm noticing, is that when I close the hood, there's a gap right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. But between the bumper and the hood, there's a slight gap. And then right here is pretty weird. It's like... The bumper is sticking out more than it should, and when I when it, when I push it back, the holes, the screw holes don't line up properly. So I don't know what's going on there. Again, I don't know what's going on in that part either. But that has to do with some kind of alignment. I'm probably gonna take that out of the shop, see if I can figure that out. Really don't know what's going on there. Um, I'm hoping I didn't do anything wrong, but everything else lined up perfectly. So I think I'm just doing something wrong here. I don't know what it is, but 
just to get it perfect before Beamer Fest and we're taking this down to the shop. Um, you know, by then, right now, it's not a big deal. But damn, boys, look at that. That looks so good. Um, so in the meantime, let's go ahead and just finish off wrapping some of these little things down here. And then uh, I got a sweet little uh, treat for you guys. Our boys is looking super clean. We are coming super close. So at this point, um, let's go ahead and throw in some grills. We got some new black gloss grills that we got in. And then uh, after that, I'll show you guys the new mod. <laughs> oh boy, no way. Those look so good. All right, boys, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's throw more stuff onto this bumper. All right, we're filling in a couple of holes. Look how hideous these look. Look how hazardous these things look. So basically I have this on for headlight and brake. I've already called the shop. They said we need to make sure we see the markers on the car. So I have these on for now. Um, after we get the headlight and brake done, I'm gonna take them off and just paint them black, throw it on the car. But as of now, I gotta have it on. Uh, but yeah, we're still not done yet. We got something, you know, there's something missing down there. It's kind of like, you know, all messed up. So let's go ahead and fix that real quick. Just maybe your boy went full retard, but I think these will look nice for Beamer Fest. Alrighty boys, and as you guys can see, I think that's a beauty. Oh my lord boys, we have come such a long way to see this front end put together. Obviously we're still missing the, in, the, the what's it called? The air scoops that go inside, because this car actually has air scoops, not fog lights. I wish it was just fog lights, to be honest, because this air scoop thing is gonna be a tough situation, but, um, man, look at those carbon fiber splitters looking so good. Boy, oh boy, and damn, I mean, come on, it looks good with the wheels, guys. I don't know what y'all are saying, I like the wheels. Some of y'all don't, I think they're awesome, and look at that, I just can't stop looking at that, oh my god, I'm gonna dream about this car tonight. I did notice it's missing a couple of the scoop things, so let's go ahead and add those real quick as well. All right, well this kind of sucks. So um, I just realized that this part is broken. It kind of makes sense from the accident. So this piece is broken. Luckily the rest of this stuff is good. I was guessing to see where the screw actually screws in. It's broken, so whatever. That sucks, bananas. But that's the last piece we need for the engine bay and the whole engine bay is finished, which is awesome. And now that we've made it to the end of the video, guys, I forgot to shout out those of you guys who donated to the build, so that's very important. Let's go ahead and get to that before we actually end the video. Let me pull up the names real quick. <laughs> So shout out to Julio Betris, thank you so much for the generous donation. Shout out to Matthew Gaffney, shout out to you as well my man. Thank you so much Miguel Lopez, shout out to you LDT, and huge shout out to uh, Presley Reynoso. So huge shout out to you man, that's a huge and generous donation. Guys we are pretty much at the halfway mark now, which is absolutely insane. I really didn't think this stuff was actually gonna work. I didn't know if you guys really wanted to get the car painted or not. So I was like, you know what, let me just start it up. And uh, this idea was influenced by you guys, so I really do appreciate it. With this car will be painted Interlagos blue. Um, basically a thousand bucks is not even, it's not gonna pay for the paint job, but it's at least gonna be able to pay for half the paint job. That's how much it costs, at least, at least. So at least when we hit that mark, um, I'll give it a little bit more time for me to save up, get my half end of the deal, and then we'll go ahead and paint the car. So in the meantime, we'll just enjoy this beautiful wrap. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out the link down below if you want to support the build. And uh, love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.